da 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 da. Sue, stop lying around on the couch. It's time for us to go. Huh? To go where, Sammy? What do you mean where? You said we're going to see the waterfall today. Sammy, you didn't get it. I said we're going to see the new fountain. Aww, well, it's not that interesting. Hmm, and what if we make some kind of a waterfall ourselves? Ooh, now you're talking. I'm getting changed. Let's go make the craft. Hi, guys. Today we're going to make a mini fountain for home decor. And I'm so excited. Just imagine playing in the house and listening to the sound of a real water feature. Sue, we're gonna make a fountain from this? This doesn't look good. Sammy, we'll make a base from these foam sheets and then we'll cover it with cement. Oh, that sounds much better. It'll look like it's made from real stone. Our fountain will be made of two parts, a lower level with a pole and an upper level in the shape of a hill. Oh, <laughs> seems like Sam is busy with something. The upper level is mine. Wait for me and I'll surprise you. <laughs> and here we go. The proper shape is done. Can you see the contour, guys? Well, Sue, how are you doing here? I see you finished this layer. Yeah, but the pool isn't deep enough for my liking. Let's fix it right now. Two and three. That's much better. What's up with you, Sammy? Check this out, Susan. I'll call it Sam the Great Hill. Uh, uh, Sue, save me! <laughs> Don't worry, I've got you. I see that you cut holes in all the layers. Yeah, it's my upgrade. We'll hide a plastic tube in there so that water from the pool will rise to the top of the hill. Hmm, maybe we can upgrade the lower level too. Do you have any ideas? Let's make a mill wheel. <gasps> An elimination. These are great ideas. Sammy? Um, what? You know what I need. Oh no, Susan, not the cookie. That's my last one. <laughs> no, silly. I just wanted to put two tubes inside the lower level to hide the wires. Hey, Ultibidaba, my cookie is safe. Guys, check this out. We'll place two tubes at an angle so that water from the pool won't come inside. It's time to glue all of the layers together. Whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> Go on, guys, add more glue to it. Be careful, Susan. Don't glue yourself to it. <laughs> I'll do my best, Sammy. All right, let's put two layers together like this. Oh, there's a nice view from here. Ah, careful. Put me back! Pull yourself together, Sammy. It's almost done. Phew, that was a terrific roller coaster. By the way, did you see that our fountain doesn't have a base? Yeah, that's why I made this ground level from foam board. There you go. And finally, this is our Sam the Great Hill. I like this name. Oh yeah, let's cover it all with cement. So what do we need? Guys, I'll give you the easiest recipe. To make a cement mixture, we'll take water. And cement powder, of course. Okay, give me something to do too. Well, we just need one more ingredient. The sand. Oh, that's easy. Guys, let's go digging in the garden. And the cement mixture is ready. Check this out, guys. It's time to do some magic. Sue, so, it's not a magic thing. We'll just cover the base with cement. You're partially right, Sammy. But it certainly looks cool, huh? Well, I definitely want to see the final result. How long are you going to do this? Oh, right. I have to mention that we'll need to make several cement layers and wait for each of them to dry. Holy cannoli! That's a lot of time! Uh, I need to distract myself. Hmm, what does a real crafter need for work? Ha! Huh, anything! All right, guys. We're on the right path. Let's just add more cement on the other side. Sammy, it seems like you have something in mind. Oh, yeah. Y'all gonna love this. Go on, Susan. The first layer is ready. Let's place the gauze on top. There you go. Hmm, that's right. And what about this one? What are these measurements for, Sammy? Care to share with us? No, no, it's confidential information, Susan. <laughs> okay, you'll tell us when it's time. Hey, we finished the gauze layer, guys. Let's add the second layer of the cement mixture, then. Whoa, Sue! You're doing awesome! We made it even faster this time. Now let it dry for several hours. Sue, I finished the design. We're gonna build a house on top of the fountain. Cool, let me see. Um, Sammy, isn't it too abstract? Well, maybe I get carried away a little. But I already cut all pieces out of a foam board. Let's check it out. Oh, it looks just right. Let's build the house then. It turned out even better than on my picture! 
Our little house needs more decor. Sammy, could you bring the tile, please? And I'll take care of the texture. Got it. Ugh, it's so heavy. Sue, help me. Ugh. Sammy? I'm okay, Sue. I'm coming. There you go. Thanks, Sammy. Let's see. This tile is made from foam. This foam is also called flexible suede and is often used in handiwork. Sue, check this out. We can place these bars on top of the roofs. Great, Sammy. Just let me finish here. Uh, master, please. I can't hold them any longer. Ah! You're just unbearable, Samuel. That's it. Now let's paint all the walls. Guys, you can pick whatever color you want. Yeah, everything you can imagine. From bright pink to earwax color. <laughs> That's something new. Anyway, Sammy, do you have anything for me? Not for you, Susan, but yes, I do. All houses should have windows and doors. Well, all traditional houses at least. Guys, let's count all the windows here. One. And two. Oh, that's the highest one. The third one is on the sidewall. Hello, neighbors. And one more. Although it's not a window, but a flower bed. Don't mess with us, Sammy. Ah, uh, flowers under the windows will be perfect. Ah, oh, what a nice scent. Let's add some stones to the walls. It'll make them look more real. Guys. Watch your hands when working with the hot glue gun. Wow, let's count the stones too! 10, 11, 12. Oh no, I give up, there are too many of them! Check out these stones, guys! They don't look quite real just yet. Let's color them. I'll do it! It'll take you too long! Like this, Sue! That's how you do it! Sammy, just admit that you wanted to color them by yourself. And you did a really great job! I'll add some green moss on the walls for a more natural look. And I'll cover the fountain with the third and final layer of cement. The most exciting part is yet to come! Finally, after several hours, the cement dried out. All this time, Sue and I were thinking about how we could upgrade the fountain and… The first piece is a water slide. It'll be right on top of the hill. Then the water will flow here through a mill wheel. Whoosh! And fall into the pool. Cool, right? Now I'm gonna make the mill wheel. It was my greatest idea for today. <laughs> and while Sammy's creating stuff, let's make the slide. We'll use some clay for it. Don't you think it's too simple for your skills, Susan? Don't worry about me, Sammy. I'll find some use for my crafting skills, too. Guys, check out how flexible this modeling clay is. You can make whatever you want. Even the mill wheel? Even a wheel like this one. But we need a rotating mill wheel, so keep working. Okay, we are done with the molding clay. Keep your pace, but remember that the clay will gradually solidify. Why are you just telling me that now? This wood could have stuck to me forever! <laughs> Don't worry, Sammy, it'll take the whole day anyway. <gasps> it already looks so good! I can't wait to see it with the water flowing down. Ahem, <laughs> I think you forgot something, Susan! Whoops, <laughs> my bad. Guys, we'll cover the fountain with acrylic paint to make it look more realistic. Add more color here, Sue! No, no, here too! And there as well! Now, go down a bit, Sue! Sammy, maybe you can do it by yourself. Slimes are good at decorating! It looks amazing, Sammy! Well done! So, look! Do I look like a helicopter? <laughs> Sammy! Guys, check out our wheel! Sue, so, but what is this thing? We need this bearing to make our mill wheel spin! Well, I can teach it a proper spin! Whoa! <laughs> You're a pro at this! But we can't do it, cause water will just spray everywhere! Oh no! I don't wanna clean up that mess then! Sue, there's a little gift for you! Oh, a water pump! Guys, we'll use it to send water up to the top of the fountain! But it won't work without a battery! Be prepared! And we also need an intensity regulator! If you don't know what that looks like, just google it! Or ask an adult! You'll need their help at this stage anyway! Okay, the mechanism is ready! The next thing we'll do is… Glue the house to the top of the hill! Ah, oh, what a view! And do the same with the mill wheel here! Beatboxy resin is ready, Sue! Let's make it glow! 
guys, we'll cover our fountain with two layers of epoxy resin. It'll make it shiny and create a water protection barrier. Wow! Check this out, it's so cool! You got it, right? Then continue by yourself. I believe in you! Wait until it sets! A little bit more… Even more… Okay, now you can check this out! Looks awesome, right? And I added some decor by myself! Whoa! Sammy already set the pump and steam generator! Guys, do you want to see the result? I know you do! <laughs> Let's go! of the water are so calming. Nothing can distract me. Wee! I'm coming! Guys, make room for me too! The water looks so refreshing! Um, Sammy, it's not what I imagined we'd use this fountain for. What's the difference? It just has to be fun! <laughs> well, I think Sam is right. Do you agree, guys? Please cheer us up with your thumbs up. And subscribe to our channel! I'm gonna do some swimming! See y'all! Bye-bye!